Holy God, we thank you for this first and great act of submission to your will by our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, your only Son, who you gave out of your love for the whole world. And in this act of submission, we learn, Lord, to submit our own will to you, that even when it's counterintuitive to all of our earthly impulses to preserve our own lives, to do our own thing, to assert our own will. Lord, we have this, the model of Jesus, who obeyed you and submitted himself utterly and completely to your will. And Lord, as we contemplate this first stop along that path of passion, that would lead to the ultimate sacrifice, yielding up himself as your lamb of sacrifice. Lord, we pray, help us to understand the importance of bowing in submission to your will above our own. Lord, we would learn here to lift up our own lives as living sacrifices, holy, and acceptable to you, O oh God. In Jesus' name, we say together, Amen. And let it be so. Amen. I just want to say, pray. Lord, as we look and we face to the south, we see the most powerful building in the world. We pray, O oh God, let your will be done. We pray for all 100 senators, 435 members of Congress, let them, Father, lay their ambitions and desires aside and let your will be done. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Holy God, as we pause to contemplate this moment when those who would be the enemies of God angrily took his only son with the intention of destroying him, of eliminating what brings conviction to our own consciences. We consider the degree of love expressed by Jesus for his heavenly Father and for all of humanity in that moment of being willing to be surrendered to death. Lord, teach us to crucify our own flesh and offer our, our own selves up to you in every way to die to ourselves that we might live unto you and your will in Jesus name Amen. this mother and the disciple standing by whom he loved he saith unto his mother woman Behold thy son. Then saith he to the disciple, Behold thy mother. And from that hour that disciple took her unto his own home. After this, Jesus knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, saith, I thirst. Father, as we pause and reflect on your passion, we are reminded of your humility, of your humanity. Father, these are lessons that are so powerfully true today, just as they were 2,000 years ago. Teach us humility. Teach us the way of the cross, O oh God. Behind me is the United States Supreme Court. Across from me, the United States Capitol. 
Let us recognize, O oh God, that the government is built upon your shoulders and that for public servants, you set the example by freely, openly, and without reservation giving your life. It's recorded here, you gave up the ghost. You freely gave up your life for us. Teach us, O oh God, here in our nation's capital to freely and openly commit our lives to service for the common good. Jesus, we pray that your passion, that your suffering, that your life would serve as an example for us. We thank you, Jesus. We bless you. We commit ourselves to you. In your name we pray. Amen. This man went unto Pilate and begged the body of Jesus. And he took it down and wrapped it in linen and laid it in a sepulcher. There was hewn in stone wherein never man before was laid. And that day was the preparation and the Sabbath drew on. And the woman also which came and the women also which came with him from Galilee followed after and beheld the sepulchre, and how his body was laid. And they returned and prepared spices and ointments and rested the Sabbath day according to the commandments. Lord, we pause here now to remember those who ministered to the very earthly body of Christ that had been offered up the Lamb of God, the bread of heaven, lifted up, broken for the salvation of mankind. We remember those who delicately and sensitively cared for what was the evidence of your self giving love to the world. We remember the tomb, the place where hopes appeared to be dashed, and yet the place of hope. And in that period, the preaching of good news to those who were bound even in the bowels of hell itself, we remember, Lord, the waiting and the wondering, the doubting and the trust, those anxious moments until the quaking of the earth and the opening of that tomb. And we remember our own periods of doubt, O oh Lord, and pray you would fill them with hope the hope of the resurrection. Thank you for the death. Thank you for the burial. Thank you for the hope of the resurrection. In Jesus' name, amen. That is, for without it our faith would be in vain, but in it is the power of the gospel, the power of the resurrection. Thank you for our own resurrection to the hope of eternal life and the enjoyment of abundant life on this earth. Thank you for the cross. Thank you for the work that brought us together with you, that bridged the separation caused by our rebellion and sin. And out of your grace and mercy, you reached out for reunion with your creation. Now, Lord, teach us to consider what it is to surrender, to sacrifice, what it is for us to pick up our own cross and follow after you. In Jesus' name.